and welcome back to this mini series to learn how to sit at the desk. So I want to give you um, a few more tips when it comes to sitting at the desk. Um, the feet, how the feet should be well. Ideal, ideally, you want the feet flat on the floor like so. Okay, if you wear, um, if you wear high heels, if you can. Take your shoes off and have the feet flat on the on the floor. Um, you can do things like this as well, cross the ankles and bring the feet below. I do that sometimes. It's not a, a big problem as long as whatever you do with your feet, as long as it doesn't make you slouch and move the pelvis back. So you don't want to 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 have the feet in ways that will move your pelvis back and give you that roundness in the back. So um, having the feet like that always um, is not bad. It helps you. It doesn't do very much with the pelvis. You can still keep the pelvis um, free and grounded on your sitting bones or the feet flat. So just find something um, that is comfortable for you. Um, crossing the legs, don't cross the legs because crossing the legs will tend to um, collapse the, the, the chest and um, tilt to one side of the body, the side that you cross the legs is the side that you're going to tilt. So uh, you don't want to be crossing the legs when you're sitting at the desk. Okay, and I have a video about crossing the legs and in, on my YouTube video. Um, so don't cross the legs. If you have the habit to cross the legs, then you have to come out of that habit. And you do that by remind yourself every time you, you catch yourself crossing the legs, you just have to uncross the legs until uh, not crossing the legs becomes more natural to you, okay? Um, I know it's a habit, that is, a habit that is difficult to get rid of, but you can only get rid of it if you um, teach yourself not to do it. Um, so crossing the legs is a no, no, no. Uh, something else is those steps. I don't know what they call that. Um, we have under the desk to put the feet on. Well, if that, and I've explained that bit in a video before, if putting the, unless you have really short legs, um, that might be useful, okay? But otherwise, um, if you have the um, feet on, on, on the stool or whatever that thing is called, um, under your feet, um, it's very likely that we'll put your knees above or higher than the pelvis and we talked about that on the video before you don't want to have the knees uh, higher than your pelvis because you're going to sink the pelvis and you're going to start rounding the back okay so the pelvis needs to be always higher than the knees so I don't suggest that you have anything under your feet unless uh, you are, um, you know, your legs are short and you feel that even having the feet on that platform, on that stool, um, keeps still keeps your knees below your pelvis, that's okay. Um, otherwise, um, it's a no. So, um, a few more things that I wanted to tell you um, to help you be comfortable at your desk is we all are right-handed or left-handed and we tend to do everything with the side that is uh, dominant, okay? So at the desk, we also tend to have every, so let's um, use my example, I am right-handed. So um, I would have everything on the right-hand side of my, um, of my desk, okay? Don't do that. Have as much as you can on the opposite side. So um, your phone, um, your, your mug with a drink, have it on the left hand side. 
and um, anything you can um, have it on the left hand side so that you don't just keep um, using the right hand side which creates um, mis imbalances and uh, strain on that side so use the opposite side as much as you can to um, to answer the phone or to drink or you know the staples wherever um, you have on your desk have it on the opposite side that is not your dominant side okay um, even your mouse I only use mouse on the left hand side which is not my dominant side and I didn't have a choice okay when I used to work and this is my personal story when I used to work in the office many 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 years ago um, I developed the pain in my shoulder because of the clicking in the, in the in the mouse okay and I couldn't use I couldn't use the mouse anymore because it was too too painful in my shoulder and this is a common common thing so I forced myself to use the mouse uh, on the left hand side and I got used to it, used to it and now I only use the mouse uh, or the pad on, on the left hand side okay I use the pad with the right hand uh, but if I need to use the mouse that will be on the left hand um, so that's something that you might want to think about as well if um, uh, if you want uh, so use as much as you can on the on the left hand side so um, that's all I wanted to do if you have any more questions uh, let me know below and I'll look into that otherwise and this is all I wanted to do with regards to um, sitting at your desk comfortably all right and if we haven't met before my name is Maria de Souza I am a posture teacher and coach and I teach how to go about life with good posture to keep away from pain and of course to look good as well so thank you so much for watching and if you have requests or questions let me know below and I'll see you at a next video bye bye now